four Volkswagen Golf. Wow, we haven't got one of those in a while. Yeah, I don't like these cars. They're too damn small. Oh yeah, you know, I had something to ask you. When the hell are you gonna stop freaking flashing the damn old tattoo you got? Huh? You heard me. The what? Me and Frenin had a little bit of altercation in the truck. Because obviously he's got a big mouth and he's always talking And also <clears throat> mentioning about the tattoo that we have got, we had had gotten. The tattoo, the forbidden love tattoo. You always standing around in the office and went there today. Oh, well, Freddie was showing in and he was showing off and he was talking about this and that and blah, blah, let me, blah, blah. Let me, okay. let, let me explain me something. When I met you, I wasn't 30. I never said you were 30. I said you were 28. Everybody I was 15. Says, every, don't even go there. Don't lie. I was 15 coming out, right? Yes, I was right. 15. You were 28. And, you were and obviously, just to let you guys know, a lot of the tattoos that he has, he copied me because I had them first. And then he copied them. Like my... My, my skulls, eh, he had to have the same skull that Shonya had, you know? Why, he could've got something different. That's my play and that's my car right here. Which one? This one right here, Mr. Blind Man. Well, he you just- the damn glasses! You don't say anything, you're like, oh, you just right here. You don't say, hey, slow down. All right, anyways, here's the paperwork. Well, take it with you and bend the car, please. Yeah, I'll bend the car. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah. Is that the plate, though? Okay, my name, my name is Sonia. I have an order for repossession on this car. You know, when I first uh, got out of the car and I seen the woman, she was pretty attractive. She, you know, she's, she's an older woman and she's attractive. Okay. Repossession of my car? Yes, we, we have an order. Unacceptable. Absolutely unacceptable. As soon as you pay for it, it'll be I acceptable for me leaving me. it. Of course okay. I paid for it. Here comes this lady, loud as hell, start yelling. What are you guys doing? What are you guys doing? You know, it's like a typical song to my ear. What am I doing? Well, I'm picking up your car. The car's not for repo. No, no I have paid. Okay, the I car's not for repo. I have you? got the money to pay for this. Who are you? I'm, I'm, I'm a girlfriend. What's going on here? Okay. I, this is your girlfriend? Yeah, it is. Okay, well, she hasn't made the car fit. Yeah. So obviously she had a problem with us. Well, what's that? Take that off my car and blah, 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 blah. That's all gravy. I said, you know what? If you have a receipt that you can show me, I'll leave the car. I give the benefit of the doubt. She goes, I have it. Pull it out then. And then who comes out of the house? Her lovely partner. First so of all, you can here. direct, continue directly with me. I'm the one that's going to take this car because I'm already telling you I have an order for repossession. But you so can't. let's not make a big stink about it. Don't no, you're don't not. Touch that. Okay. I have paid okay. for this. Okay, this you want to show me a receipt that shows you your current? But this is, but this is not this your concern. Is this is, do you want to show me a receipt that that right now that is current? Show me the current. Are you going to pay for it? Then he starts getting involved and starts getting loud with Froilin, and then he starts getting too pushy with me. I told him, you better name. Put a hand on me. You better get the hell away from me. Then obviously he starts getting into it with Froilin, and I'm telling him, hey, you don't need to get involved. It's not your business. And I know how it is, because when I was married to Sonia, you know, anybody came out to her and said something, I jumped, and you know, it's like, they're ready to protect her because she's older than me, and I kind of feel for the kid, you know? I mean, he's a younger kid. He's got an older girlfriend, and, which happens to be hot. And of course, he's gonna try to get all jumpy and wants to be a man and you know stand his ground and be there for his woman. I understand. Unfortunately, this has nothing to do with him. I don't want to have to. I don't want to have, have to spray you. Understand? Involved, okay? Okay? I don't no. want to have to spray you. So you need to relax. Regulate, this has okay? nothing to do. Listen, this oh has God, nothing to do with you. This is. I'm telling your boyfriend to relax. I'm telling your boyfriend to relax. Everything starts getting heated. Unnecessary. We don't have to have heated moments like that because obviously, look it. She can't produce a receipt. Because if she would have produced it, I would have left the car. No problem. Hey, show me the receipt. I'm even taking the time out of my day to see the receipt. If you got to look for it in the house, well, make it quick because I'm going to take the car regardless. Obviously, she couldn't produce that neither. And the boyfriend obviously is on Freudin's tail. You need no, to relax. Okay, I'm not going to remove it. This this is this is my to my you car. need. So obviously Ferlin can't take it anymore because this guy is really getting a little hostile. So what does he do? He pepper sprays him. Pepper sprays him, go down the girl, first starts getting all you know hysterical. Ah! Anyways, in that moment is when my opportune time came to snatch the keys out of this lady's hand. 
I don't want to pepper spray no one. I don't want to fight with no one. Um, the reason I took out the pepper spray on this one is because I did notice the kid was a younger guy um, who was protecting his loved one, and he started getting a little too pushy with Sonia. Oh, I can't even, you know what they just feel like? You're Go inside, wash your face out. Everything was fine. The lady stayed there t talking her yapping and attending to her boyfriend. But you know what? This was all unnecessary, okay? Because first of all, he doesn't need to get involved. It's not his car. It's not under his name. And she knows better. She should have just handed me the keys. And I didn't really want to fight her too much because she was very thin, very dainty. I felt like when I grabbed her out I, I, and touched her, I almost felt like I could break her bones, you know? Um, usually, like I said, I don't like snatching things from people's hands and arguing and fighting. It's just a job, man. I mean, we're there to do our job just like anyone else. It's like hating the cops because they arrest you because you did something wrong. You know, it's just a job. Obviously, as you can see, I'm driving this teeny weeny car that I barely fit. Maybe if I lose about 200 pounds, I might be able to fit in this car. God. I'm all squeezing and barely breathing. It's a good thing I didn't eat no breakfast. I didn't even eat no lunch because had I not, had I eaten, oh man, I wouldn't be able to fit in that car. I would have been so full. I probably would have threw up all over that Volkswagen go. It would have been a mess. Anyways, this is a contact and collect with this cat. Apparently he's a DJ, and I told him I wanted to see what he sounded like to see how good he was, because I wanted to book him for Linda's birthday. Contact and collect, we haven't done that in a long time. I know. On a rare occasion, we get what's called a contact and collect. It's not a repo, it's just a contact and collect. We just need to get a payment from him. 249 bucks, that's it. The repo costs more. Yeah, well, the contact and collect is, you know, we only charge so much for that, but if we repossess the car, we get full repo. Yeah. You know, in my opinion, this contact and collect is just a waste of time. You make no money on these things, and I don't know why Lou accepts them. So this is the address. So he's supposed to be DJing a party or something. It's a Jeep Liberty, huh? Yeah. I think that's it right here, bro. Do me a favor. Check and see if that's it. I'm going to turn around and, and block it in. That way he can't take off. As I'm walking up to the Jeep Liberty to vent it, I'm hearing all this party noise. And I see all these people over here, and I'm like, you know, I'm really not looking forward to interrupting this party. Can I help you, boss? Yeah, hold on, man. I'm going to have you talk to this guy in a second, OK? Are you the owner of the Jeep? Who's asking? My name is Matt Birch. I'm asking you. OK? Uh, yeah, yeah. Are you Mark? I'm Mark. Hi, Mark. Yeah, Mark? OK. Yeah, you want to talk to him? Hey, what's up, brother? Uh, hey, hey, listen, we're here to do a contact and collect for the finance company. Um, they, uh, you owe them $249. So it's not much, but they, uh, they, if not, they want the car. Yeah, you know, it's it going smooth and easy. It was just a contact and collect. And the guy just had to write us a check and we would have been on our way. Do you have a check? I, I can't get, I ain't got no check. Give me a check a for 249. That's like, all you need. I, I, right, I can't right now. I've got, I've got no other money other than what I'm making on this wedding right now. That's it. Can you go see if they give you an advance or something? Now we got to take it. I, I, I try to get as much money beforehand as possible. I'm trying to get to that point where I, where they will give me more money. Right now they told me they give me half right now, half right. at the beginning and then half at the end. I'm waiting for the other half. He wanted us to stick around because he was going to get paid towards the end of the wedding. Well, weddings can go on to two or three o'clock in the morning. I'm not in a business to be waiting around like that. I have other accounts that we have to go hit. I understand. So, you know, I just you like how in. much? Two hundred forty nine. Bucks, man. Contact and collect. We can get it. We, we can, can get it. it. All right, let's do it. All right. What is going on over here? Yeah, yeah. Once we told him about the situation, he decided to take up a collection, uh, which is very noble of the guy. That was cool. Just when I thought the situation was all resolved, this big mouth woman got all involved. Now, I know this is going to upset some women out there, but you need to stay out of men's business. Keep your damn mouth shut. Is that, is that your husband? Who are you? I'm the guy repossessing the car tonight. Yeah, um, that is my husband right there. Okay, he uh, actually had, had talked to this man about fronting him some money, so uh, this could be taken care of. I don't think that happened. No, he did say that. No, 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 that did not happen. You want to go talk to him? Yes, I do. I, I don't believe you. Uh, I actually want to talk to you because okay. I don't know what you're telling these people. No, 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 no. This is my wedding reception. You are not welcome. I don't know you. You're not invited. Right. So you. You know, you realize it's a public street, right? Okay, fine. We can step on the sidewalk. Okay. You are right. ruining her wedding. But you... I'm not doing anything. I'm just trying to talk to you guys. 
Okay. But all I'm saying is that What's this up? is my wedding reception and you folks Sweetie, we're getting, we're are not. No, 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 no,
We're here to pick up the caddy, man. Just, what, do you mean, just, what do you mean, pick up the caddy? We got a repossession order for it. You already know about it, man. We've been looking what? for this thing for a while. You're not picking up my caddy. You know, you know who I am? He's picking it up. Nobody's yeah. picking up my caddy. Okay. Nobody. But look, we are, we already have the, the caddy over there. We just want the keys, man. We want to give you courtesy. I don't want to hurt it. You're going to mess up the transmission if yep, you tow that I, thing. You're damn right I am. If, so if I give you the keys, you aren't going to tow it. You got it. Oh, absolutely. Just drive it out. You're yeah, not going to screw up that transmission. Right. Go get the keys. Yeah, you know, we found the RO. Uh, the guy was, was just kind of loopy, you know? I don't know how an idiot like this gets a beautiful Cadillac like that. What do you mean the keys are safe? The keys are safe. Honest to God, he doesn't have time, nor do I, to play games. So I'm going to give you about five seconds, and then I'm going to drag it. First of all, this guy is lying. He has the keys, not his son. I wish these guys would quit screwing around so I could get my job done and get the hell out of Dodge. I'm oh sorry. My oh my my Take it in my car and get some stuff out of it. I'm sorry. We gotta get the keys. Put the keys. Where are the keys at? So I'm waiting for like a good half hour next to this Cadillac. And out of the blue comes this guy right alongside my brother, yelling, cussing, and he's screaming something about his keys. And I'm like, is this the owner of this Cadillac? I mean, how does that happen? Hey! Hey! Put your hands on her again. Watch what happens. Put your hands on her again. Watch what happens. Damn, I felt like I was in a David Lynch movie. Where are those keys at? Try to pick this thing. Get the keys over here so I can get my stuff out. Watch, watch your legs. Watch your legs. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm really sorry. I'm sorry. I'm just desperate. We already know that when Matt sees anybody pushing me, you know, and then we got two guys, we got my brother and we got Matt, you know, they're gonna get really angry and irate. Watch it, watch it! All right, who's doing this And what? And as if this repo wasn't a big enough joke as it was, now I got the rest of these idiots flying their planes at me too. I just wanna get out of here. All right, who's doing this Who's my favorite, man? And what? Get Sonic, get in the truck, get in the truck. These guys started flying their planes just above our heads. It's dangerous, man. A propeller hits someone, it can kill them. Get in the truck. Matt, deal with this, man, please. Deal with it. Deal with it. Tell, let them know we ain't playing around. Let them know we're not playing. Yes. Oh, I'm going to deal with it. Hey, that's not too funny, you knuckleheads. Oh, I'm going to deal with it. Which one of you watch it? One. You know, these guys have a herd mentality. In a crowd, they act like this. But I guarantee you, on their own, it's a whole different ball game. Got it, got it, got it. Hey, what are you doing? You know, I'm not afraid of nerds with model airplanes. How can I say this? This is about control. And I was going to regain control of the situation. And I was going to do whatever it took to regain control of the situation. Stop flying the plane! Stop playing around! These guys want to be playing around, that's what they're going to get. Press What's that plane? plane? Yeah, you're not going to be laughing when you knock it out of the air. So in the call the cops. Call the cops. Call the cops. Yeah, there you go. Hey, it's not so funny now, huh? Hey, Matt! Matt! Good, good. Hey, I got the car started. Hey, tell me that's That's go. what you get. <laughs> that's what you Come get. Huh? Hey. 200 bucks! Hey, the no. told you guys to quit playing no, around. No. Hey, hey. What the? Hey, I got the car started. That's right. Just in the car. You guys, a bunch of dumb. No. That's what you guys get. Matt grabbed the bat. Matt smashed that plane. I would have handled it a little differently, but uh, as you can see, it worked. You know, wow. Lou gave me credit for something I did right. Well, you know what? I like that. You know, I, I actually do like working for Lou and his family, but. <laughs> Thank you.